Hi everybody, it's Jean and I'm here at the Cox Arboretum in Moraine, Ohio and uh, this is the butterfly house and I came specifically to see the native butterflies that they have here but I came too late in the day and the butterflies have all been taken in. They are apparently only out from 8 in the morning until 10 in the morning and we were here in the late afternoon. So uh, there weren't any butterflies out uh, from their collection. We did see a few stray butterflies, so all wasn't lost. Uh, the butterfly house is a very nice place to sit back and relax. It was filtered light and uh, breezy because the overhead um, area and the sides are screened, not glass. So um, this is, was just a very pleasant place. They have a gazebo and they have benches around and uh, beautiful plants. There, um, what, this is one of the, uh, the first butterfly that we did see and it's black with white spots and I really don't know what kind it is, but it's somewhat ragged, uh, just a little bit. I got a close up of it and it was fluttering around and and um, enjoying the plants and flowers so um so we were ha we were very happy to see that butterfly we thought yes we saw one butterfly at least <laughs> so um and then we walked over to the uh display box where the chrysalis was this was the second butterfly that we saw and the second butterfly um, was uh, injured. It uh, is missing part of a wing, which maybe isn't why it went in with the other ones. I'm not sure how they catch and catch them um, to bring them in um, during that time. But anyway, um, they do. And uh, this one, even though it was injured, it was able to fly around and um, enjoy the uh, flowers and the beautiful plants and the beautiful area. So uh, it was very nice uh, to see, and I did enjoy that. Um, you can see how pretty and vibrant the, uh, the flowers are here. Those are marigolds, and there was a little white butterfly, and again, all these are native butterflies to this area, and we did see quite a few of the little white ones out in before we came into the butterfly house. So as we walked up, we did see quite a few butterflies right in the area. So it was nice to see this one in here as well, where I could actually film it because it was somewhat contained and um, I did really enjoy watching the butterflies. We didn't stay too long. Uh, we went ahead and uh, as we left, uh, I took a panoramic view here of the grounds and the walkway. There's ponds and um, a little bridge, uh, beautiful rocks um, at the edges of the ponds. Lots of pretty flowers. I love these hydrangeas. They were uh, almost finished, but they were so pretty um, just as they were, just gorgeous hydrangeas. And the, the colors were very muted and um, just delicious. I, I just thought they were gorgeous. Then it surprised me to see the um, Irises. I thought irises were always a, they're a spring plant, and yet this is late fall or early fall, late September, and there were irises everywhere. I saw several colors. I thought that one was beautiful. Here's some yellow ones and some purple ones, and um, along with some black eyed Susans and different um, vegetation. Uh, it was just a very, very pretty, pretty walk out there. We uh, my daughter and I uh, enjoyed it. Um, it was a nice afternoon. See how pretty those rocks are? In the ponds, we saw um, good-sized goldfish and um, turtles. 
and uh, they were actually in clusters which I wasn't able to film um, by the time I got my camera out <laughs> and the white uh, they're different colors of goldfish too at the end we went into the visitor center to see what they had it's such a beautiful building and all these glass walls it was uh, such a pretty pretty place to uh, sit back and, and relax for a minute before we went out to the car and um, picked up some brochures and enjoyed the uh, amenities that they had here. Um, they do have a very nice, um, oh, I did want to mention that they had all those beautiful glass walls. They have a beautiful room here where they do classes and then uh, a small little gift area. And I picked up uh, what this particular leaf bowl. I just really love it. And they're heavy, they're made out of cement or some sort of a heavy um, cement-like material. And there's a leaf pressed into it and then it's shaped and painted. And I absolutely loved it. I'd love to know how to do it. I'm going to look and see if they have a class uh, because I'd like to have more, but I thought I would just purchase one as my souvenir of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.